Hi guys! So, welcome to our video. I am Mark. And I am Aldrich. So, we both just recently finished taking up the course uh, Mathematics in the Modern World. So basically, this course is about appreciating mathematics as it's applied to several uses in everyday life, such as uh, making decisions, uh, managing finances, and more. So in this video, we would be tackling about all the lessons we've learned and reflect upon it in terms of nature of mathematics, how it is applied for different uses, and how, the, how this course has impacted us as students. Later on, you would be learning from some of our classmates too. Uh, they would also reflect on their learnings. So, Aldrich, what is your views and perspectives in mathematics in relation to nature? Mathematics can be considered as language. It is also applied in pattern and it can be used as a tool in solving problems efficiently. Mathematics is considered as a language since it can be used to transfer ideas between people and communities. For example, if a car is traveling 50 km per hour, then it gives the people an idea, an idea on how fast the car is moving. Mathematics is also considered as the study of patterns. Since everything in nature follows a certain law which is proved by different scientists, for example, some flowers follow the pattern of Fibonacci sequence for the number of petals it has. Mathematics is also used by the people in calculating for a more efficient way of doing something. For example, in graph theory, people can calculate the shortest path from point A to point B. Thank you for your views, Aldrich. Now let's move on to the uh, application of mathematics in real-life problems. Hey everyone, I'm Keith Oy, and we're going to be looking at some math questions. So first question is, mathematics is known to be rooted in logic and reasoning. How can you use this to solve your everyday problems? Well, looking at math, it's, um, it's a sequence of it's sequences and patterns. So once you have a set, like now, now that we have a certain pattern, we can kind of predict what's going to happen next. So just like life, I understand life isn't as predictable. It's like a very complicated, but certain actions kind of lead to certain outcomes. And we can use that to predict which option you should take. So example, studying would be, if you study well, you get good grades. If you don't study well, you get bad grades. So now looking at the outcomes, we can kind of predict which one's the best solution. And that's how math can be used to solve your everyday practical problems. According to the consumer mathematics, I'll manage my data by two following rules. First, when I save money, I'll choose how to save it according to the purpose. For example, if I need a lot of money in the future, but have some spare money right now, I'll choose time deposit. On the other hand, if I just want to save money, I'll use basic savings account. Second, when I use my credit card, I'll take care of the security. I'll check if there is something attached to the machine and put a signature on my credit card. When it comes to decision making, mathematics can be used to improve our lives. It assists us by taking different types of data and putting them into an order of information to help support a decision to make, whilst also bringing order and organization for presentation and evaluation of data that can be used to support more decisions for our own benefit and others' benefit. Those are some really insightful answers from our classmates. So, Mark, how has the concepts you learn impacted your life? Well, the concepts were really helpful since I have learned that mathematics can be applied in a lot of ways. Example, I am currently taking up industrial engineering minor in information technology and I have really learned a lot of concepts from the subject that I can apply to my course. For example, since industrial engineering is all about uh, efficiency in everyday life, I can apply the concepts that I have learned in linear programming or the short path problems or even the transportation and assignment problems as are, these are all about efficiency. Or another is in terms of managing finances. 
since my course has a financial side to it. And, ha- and that's this logic and reasoning since I would really need this in my course that de- to determine the best way or solution in a specific problem. And so this subject has proved to be really helpful for me in the future. And if there's three words to sum up my experience in this course, the first will be challenging. I was really challenged to analytically solve the problems. Second is mind opening since it has given me a lot of ideas and a new perspective of mathematics. And lastly is fun, just learning with my classmates such as uh, Aldrich and having good props, I really had fun in learning in this course. Well, that basically sums up our video. So again, I am Mark. And I am Aldrich. Thank Thank you you. and have a wonderful day.